following video contains snippets of next generation science standards and STEM based teacher training workshops I've conducted where teachers were given the task of reverse engineering a dollar toy. This investigation meets many of the next generation science standards and STEM learning goals. You can make See, when, you wind it. It. when you wind it, you hear that clicking, oh. but if you turn it the other way, there isn't. The tension spinning. is like a metal band. It's like a so keeps, strip. You can kind of pass it. Don't the gears keep the energy from being spent all at once? Like they so it's not just like a little teeth. It flips this lever, because, yeah. and then this lifts up. Because yes. every to time flip him over. there's this little thing right here, and every time so it comes up to where it is, yes. when we wind yeah. it, the spring it That's probably why there's this. How many times do yes. I don't know what I do. I think that it's like this. So I think that it hooks in here to this little deal, and that this is what keeps the leg, pushes the leg back. Okay. The leg back yep. up. Okay, yep, that's it. Yep. Okay. And how I like it almost like it stops spinning. Here that gets spun by the back here, and you can see it wiggles his head. But someone tell me why he did the splits. The splits. Something separated. Uh, that spring? Does he do the splits when it does? There's one more inside of it. There. Do you see that right there? Yeah, the gear doesn't engage. It's going um, um, counterclockwise. Absolutely. Uh, it's really a sport. So a series of gears and their reaction and their reactions came together to spin and the, the rabbit and the egg ran due to centrifugal force and it was kept closed close back up because I ran out of tension and egg ran. So you're shaking them. So it's obviously the same force. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing. I don't know, where else would it not screw me? That probably just slides on that gear. Is that like on a doorknob? So here, let's take the screw out of it. When you push the plunger, um, this starts spinning, and then this triple force is going to push the eggshells out. The other thing we notice is why do they go closed? Well, they have a rubber band inside there. Um, and it'll spin. And then as it comes back, the whole thing slides backwards, so it's not engaged. And you push it forward. You got it on this side. Oh, come back. And then we pull it back. The whole sprocket oh, slides back okay. so it doesn't make contact gotcha. with that gear. And then you push it forward. And it makes contact with it. Wow. It's like a delay. And tried to see how it would hop. And it didn't, because with the fur, it hopped kind of forward quickly. And we took the fur off. It still hopped forward, but it was a little slower. And then we took one of the sides off and wound it and let it hop. And it didn't hop forward. It just hopped straight up and down. Oh, and ours hopped in a circle. Oh, did it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. What's really making it move is the clockwork motor and that it's wound up by the camera. So back here is a spring. Oh, I love this. That's a I need so my goggles. At all times. Right. Yep. Right, right, right. Oh, it's Look at popping that. Wow. 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 A metal ribbon. Mm. Mm. This is the main spring that keeps that, that connects the, you know, that controls it. Uh -huh. okay. It's just like a, a rod in there, but I'm trying to figure out how it opens and closes unless there's another mechanism. So this is how it was together. Okay. So that there are so many parts. There are 13 actually. Um, and you can you can take take apart this this part. It will have three parts, and when you pull it, I, it works th like this. When you pull it, the spring will extend until the limit of this. Uh, what do you call this? This hole. Yes. So let's see. In pieces. Yeah. And this big gear was connected to. Um, this part which held in this kind of spring wire thing, which was wound really, really tightly. So tightly it fit inside that 
part of the little circle, that little circle, yeah. And that, because it was wrapped around so tightly, you found that's why it would shoot off so fast. Oh, oh, sorry. As long as it's not that bird. <laughs> um, so. so basically, the spring wind up car acts the same way as plastic mags and black rubber tires. It also has a plastic chassis and a plastic car spring mechanism contains contains parts as well the plastic gears the plastic case our spring our spring wind up key and also the flat iron sheet so here it's the tensile strength upon winding so when the spring car is pulled back the spring the the spring into a kinetic energy which in turn stores it into mechanical energy and once you release it it is converted into kinetic energy and it has a screw underneath so when you open the bird like that like this only has this part okay so it's motion sensor so all you have to do is take this out and create a sound <laughs> so our initial finding was your voice comes in here and then the magnified sound waves come out here. So our guess was when we put this, there's a spring a spring inside. So it's so the spring inside acts as like the cord in Panina. Waves bouncing back. Now, as it bounces back on that surface, it vibrates with that same frequency. And, and the spring will also spring. vibrate in the bottom. 